Here I have the first few bars in the Super Mario Bros. theme. If you're not aware of what this piece sounds like, here is a sample. As you can see here in the second measure, there are two ties. Without ties, writing music simply wouldn't work. If I haven't used Sibelius 7 in a while, I sometimes look up in the ribbon for ties, but all I come up with is slurs, which look very much the same, but obviously serve a different purpose. Sibelius doesn't read a slur as a tie and won't combine the notes in MIDI playback. In this second version of the theme, I've accidentally put some slurs instead of ties. Listen to this playback. Doesn't sound right. The two slurs I've put in need to be deleted. Then I can turn to the keypad to replace them with ties rather than the ribbon. If the keypad isn't open, you can simply use the shortcut keys Control, Alt, and K. Here in the common notes menu of the keypad, we see the tie symbol. Hovering over the symbol gives us the tooltip showing us that this is indeed the tie symbol. Ties work by tying the selected note to the note after it. I'll select the first note I want tied, then click the tie symbol. When I play back the first few notes, we see the MIDI recognizes the tie and ties the notes together. I'll do the same thing with the next note I want tied. This time though, I will use the enter key on my 10 key keypad. The keypad, you see, is designed like a 10 key keypad. If you have an actual 10 key keypad, you can use it as a map for entering notes and ties. Now when I play the bar back, the MIDI recognizes both of the ties for what they are and the playback sounds correct. Notes like this are designed to jog memories, which often leads to a lack of detail. If the superficiality of our coverage of this topic leaves you with questions, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.